up everyone it's our cousin it's money's last sunday here with us before he goes on a mission to Vanuatu. but um yeah we're gonna go and listen to his last testimony his talk before he leaves it's the family and problem. our church starts at 12. it's tina's last testimony today too so we're gonna go see it to money and then me and dana are gonna rush to lingy's lesson and then we're gonna come home to um or come to our ward for our lesson or our um for palakina leaving and then we got gongai for it's money at three and i work at six so yeah busy day Busy, busy, busy day. Busy, busy, busy. Go man. Well, we're going straight after it's a money's talk. We're not ah. staying for the whole presentation. Yeah, we're only going for it's a money's. Because we want to be there in time for Lee's lesson. Be there in time for Lee's lesson. So our sister in law doing her lesson for the first time. She was worried about it. Like worried about it, thinking about it, but she's studying it, which is good. You know, it's good to worry about it and study. Not just worry about it, worry about it and don't even pick up the book. You know what I mean? Family made it. <laughs> Y'all made it. <laughs> We literally, like, it's money just finished talking. Mind you, he was the last speech. <laughs> we're like, we're gonna leave as soon as he finished. Oh, yeah, and he's the last speaker, okay? So now we're rushing to go to Lingy's lesson. Excited. But you know what's funny? What? I was like thinking. Huh? You're thinking what? Okay, I'm gonna leave you there. Okay. You're thinking what? I was thinking, like, oh. Um, I, was, I, was, I was having FOMO. Yeah. I was having FOMO of like, oh, my cousins are here. They're going to take photos. I know. And I'm not going to mean. Okay, because they're coming to Timothy, aren't they? I'm not sure. I don't Did think they want to like them. Oh. I sent it to the chat. Anyway, we made it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay. like I said, we have a busy day. It was a good talk. Thank you. <laughs> it was so good. It was such a good lesson. Love it there. Wow. Hi. Um. <laughs> 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 So grateful for everyone for coming tonight. Um, you know, it's always good to have families around. Now, just before we start, I'd just like to give the, the assignments to uh, the, the prayer work given by Brother Siale Jr. Tonga, um, and also the spiritual talk by Peter, and then 
Um, Kalakau Market by <coughs> the Lausa family, George and Lingi. I know Kotupu. And then the opening. <coughs> Four houses, and one of them has a family of 13. What's the four houses, and what's and what's the family of 13? <laughs> Scriptures. I. Yeah, explain the whole thing. <laughs> so there's the the Old Testament. And the New Testament, <coughs> the Book of Mormon, and the Doctrine and Covenants. And the one with 13 books is, I'm guessing, the Book of Mormon. Right. Oh! Hear oh. oh, me! Book of Mormon, where the, where the books <coughs> The scriptures? Yeah. The four books? Yeah. Um, and the one with 13 kids, say. Yes, family first. <laughs> um, articles of faith. Yeah, oh, come on, mate. Okay. I'm just going to spend here. Um, I'm grateful anyway. for this opportunity that I've been given by our uncle to um, share our spiritual thought. Um, as you all know, the reason why we're here is for um, seems to be out of top soil. And so I thought we'll get um, do a spiritual thought based on the, his purpose oh. of going out. So let's, before, I, I'm going to ask a question. Does everyone actually know why you're here or did you just come for the food? <laughs> yeah, Benji, why are you here? You don't know for the food? Right here, yes. So all the kids are here for the food and all these boys are here are here for the food too. Um, but I just wanted to share a scripture. It's it's from the Bible and the New Testament. But um, I want to read the scripture out to you and then I'm going to um, explain what I think it means. Uh, but also how it can really help money on its mission. And the scripture is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 3 and 4, and it reads, But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. So and when you go on a mission, there's going to be a lot of times you're going to share your, your, your testimony, you're going to read from the scriptures, and you're going to ask, the investigator or whoever's learning about the gospel, um, what they know or what they have felt from that scripture. So I'm going to put money to the test and I'm going to ask you money, um, what does that scripture actually mean to you? I'm going to read it again for you to generate it and for everyone else too and then we'll go from there. But when thou doest, oh, but when thou doest arms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. That thine arms may be in secret, and thy father would see um, And to always have faith. What's that? Oh, to always have faith. And to always have faith. So money is saying to be in secret and we serve people. We don't count what we do. We don't go and say, oh, I did this and I did that. And I did this and I did that. A lot of the times, us as Polynesians, I'm just being honest, we do have a pride in within us that makes us think, Oh, but don't sit there and let things come to you and wait for it to happen. Go out and make it happen. Ask the right questions. Learn more about them. I'm going to get Alex. Which Which Alex. Ponga. Battle rough the brother. Look at Alex. Get Alex. Oh, no. Can you give us something to the other side? Alex, 